Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, February the 26th, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right, we got some good ones here. I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. Give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even experienced player, if there's a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble, I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. Of course, you guys are awesome with the great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay, there is a few things we can do here in our camp. Let's go ahead, scrap junk to produce wood. 10. So wood, extremely abundant in the wasteland. The vast majority of things will have some sort of wood component in it. And uh, but for daily weekly challenges, you might as well just bulk wood and then scrap it at the old Tinker's workbench. Let's go inside the house. Let's go ahead to our Tinker's workbench. Let's go craft. Go down to bulk. Go all the way down to the bottom. It says bulk wood. As long as you have two plastic and 30 wood scrap in your stash or scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Now let's back out. Let's go ahead and scrap and scrap the bulk wood we just literally crafted. Done. Just like that. Scrap junk to produce wood 10 for 10. Again, there's nothing stopping you from going in the wasteland to find junk items. Uh, many uh, armor and weapons will have some sort of wood component to it, but we can just bulk it very quick and easy at the Tinker's Workbench. All right, what's next here? Drink tea one. So I have a couple of videos out there showing you a great spot where you can craft your own tea. I'll bring you right down here in Flatwoods area. Uh, so there's a little stream right outside of the Wayward. Um, and if you make your way down through uh, Flatwoods to the vault Air Agricultural Research Center, there's all kinds of uh, blood leaves down there. And basically, you can make simple blood leaf tea. It's a very simple recipe, and uh, that's the video that I had made uh, quite some time ago, but it's still valid today. But if you are playing today, uh, we do have a Season 15 scoreboard reward. Let's take a look at that real quick. So here's our season 15 scoreboard and if you're playing right now it's, it's very early on in the scoreboard as you can see and it's right over here it's called the company t machine for all players and basically while you play the game it will passively collect five company t okay so it's pretty good one of the best camp resources we ever got in the game all right so let's back out here and let's go to our build menu here Now, of course, it will be under resources. Let's go ahead. Maybe scroll down to the bottom here, close to the bottom right here. Company team machine. You can you can craft one of these or build one in in each one of your camps. Okay, just one. Highly recommend that bad boy. Okay, and I happen to have my company team machine right here, and it will collect five company team. You can take a look at that video uh, when I was first uh, claimed the reward. I did a little video on it there. Let's go ahead. We'll take the company T. All right. Let's go to our pit boy. And we're going to go down here to food and drink. Get some company T here. Let's go ahead. Drink T one for one. Done. Just like that. As I say, one of the best camp resources we ever got. It just saves a lot of time. That's all it does. Saves a lot of time. And uh, it's great because let's look at our stats here for a sec. So company T 59 minutes AP region. Plus 10% disease resistance, 20%. So great, great way to do it. It doesn't matter if you're a carnivore or a herbivore. It doesn't matter. Okay, what's next? I thought there was something else we can do in our camp. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's it. All right, let's go ahead. We are going to collect a teapot too. I have many great videos out there showing you some great spots for teapots like standalone videos. You want to watch me in my usual daily and weekly videos where we go after some teapots. Uh, one of the best spots in the game 
uh, in terms of uh, qu quantity of teapots is right up here, the Palace of the Winding Path. Quite a few of them up there, at least, uh, I would say, seven to, seven to nine of them up here, okay? Uh, but where I'm going to take you today, we only need two of them. We're actually going to take you uh, fairly close here. It is the giant teapot, if I can find it on my map here, right here. Giant teapots. So let's go down here. If we get there at some point. Okay, we're here at the giant teapot. It's right here, part of the forest. And we're here to collect some teapots. There's not a whole lot here. You think there would be, but there isn't a whole lot. Uh, there will be some insects here, so just uh, keep an eye out for that. Of course, when you're going after insects, it's highly recommended that you go after the torso. Just because the other parts of the insects can be quite small. Alright, let's go inside here. Sometimes there is a teapot in here. Let's take a look around. Not here today. That's fine. Yeah, none here today. That's okay. That's okay. Nice little uh, bowler hat there, in case you're looking for one. What's this? Yeah, there's one right here. Sorry. Right on the floor. There's a house teapot right here. I think it's usually up on up on this ledge here. Let's go ahead. We're going to grab this house teapot. So there we go. One for two. See how that counts. So they do look a little bit different than your conventionary, you know, kind of brownish tan looking teapots that we're used to. But uh, so that's why I kind of thought I'd include it in this video. Now let's go inside the house. There'll be a few more inside the house here. There'll be one right here. House teapot right there. There we go. Collect teapot two for two. Pretty cool. We hit a little teddy bear there. I think there's another. Oh, there's a regular. So there's a regular kind of teapot that we're used to seeing, like at the Palace of the Winding Path. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it for the teapots here. There's not very many. I think there'd be more. And uh, let's get rid of these uh, mangy. Uh, oh, they're mole rats. One's a mole rat anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the teapots here. Okay, so that's that. Pretty good spot, just for a couple of teapots, right? And as I say, only take what you need, because especially if you're limited to uh, public servers, and that were there, other people, you know, just, uh, you know, other people can, you know, come here as well and be able to pick at least one up. Okay, what's next here? Collect the teddy bear three. So I have a couple great videos out there showing you some great spots for teddy bears. Uh, one of the best spots in the game is just up here at the knife's edge, just a little bit past the knife's edge. Uh, there'll be like a little red decapitated shed. Now there'll be some enemies around the shed, uh, various types of enemies, kind of take care of them. And then on the very top floor of that little shed. It's really hard to get to. You either have to jump or throw a grenade at the shed in order to knock the teddy bears down. Uh, but there's uh, at least 11 of them up there. It's a part of the, one of the best spots. Uh, right up here at uh, Clancy Manor is a good spot for about uh, two or three right there in the kitchen. Okay, uh, I took you on the weekly challenges that we had this week. I took you to the Tyler County Fairgrounds and uh, we got uh, at least nine of them there. And there's probably one more for 10, so it's a great spot of teddy bears there as well. If you want to watch that video, the weekly challenge video I made. And uh, down here at uh, Camden Park, a uh, good spot for at least uh, four or five of them right down here as well. Now, uh, seeing how we are here, okay, as we know, there's a little teddy bear there. And uh, this bumble bear is usually here every time I come here. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab that bumble bear, okay? And again, we're right here, the giant teapot. And uh, where we're going to go for the other two is we're going to go right up here to uh, Clancy Manor because I just want to show you guys where those uh, teddy bears are located. This is All right, let's go after these cultists here. There will be some cultists around. Yet another 
Another set of remains have been unearthed. We need to honor that soldier by giving him a proper burial at the battlefield cemetery. Okay, he's drinking a coffee. Turn off. Now, to my final reward. All right, so we're going to go into the main house eventually, and we're going to stick to the main, uh, the main floor. Back on a uh, rifleman build, full fully automatic. As you guys are wondering. Oh, holy moth, man! <laughs> right, let's get some stuff here. Okay, now if you're looking for the teddy bears, we're gonna make your way to the kitchen. Oh, hi! You gonna be die? Okay, there you go. Okay, and the other teddy bears will be right here in the corner. One, two, and as you can see, there's another teddy bear there, another teddy bear there, so at least four of them right here in this one little section of the corner. This guy's got a cute little hat on him. Well, actually, he's upside down. The hat's on the other side of him there. <laughs> good times. Okay. So, pretty good spot for uh, four teddy bears. We'll save them for another time. I'm sure we're going to get it again. All right, what's next here, Jim? All right, kill a mole rat five. So we did kill that one when we were at the giant teapot, but that's fine. Uh, I did a video not that long ago, maybe about two months ago. I uh, showed you uh, mole rat locations and farming, and uh, it was a pretty decent spot. We were very uh, fortunate in that video, and uh, you can check out that video if you like, if you're legitimately looking for mole rats. Morats, of course, is a good source of meat, so, uh, get a lot done during that video. So let's go to a really good spot. Uh, one of the best spots is right here at uh, Riverside Manor. You would have saw in that video, we've been going to the Riverside Manor, uh, quite a bit, uh, this entire week. We're going to go somewhere that's a little bit different, and where we're going to head, we're going to head down here to Welsh Station. Let's go ahead and pop down here and see if we can get the four. Now, there should be enough for five in this one location, but we'll check it out. Or you can just go to Riverside Manor and check that out. Fairly low-level area for most uh, folks. <laughs> All right, we're down here in good old Welsh, Welsh Station. Now, uh, we have some mole miners there. We're going to hit them next. Uh, for the other dailies, but we're here to uh, kill some mole rats first, five of them. And as we know, there's a pretty good spot for some mole rats. We're going to stick to the train tracks here for now. We're just going to ignore the uh, mole miners. Now, coming across here, we're going to come across a couple uh, brood mothers. It's going to just pop out of the ground, just like that. <laughs> okay. Bobby Pen, as you can see, mole rats, good source of some meat. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to head a little bit further down. And there'll be some uh, ultracite uh, crystals, I think they're called. Or the green crystals, whatever the name of them are. And there'll be some of different kind of version of uh, mole rat. But they will count towards killing a mole rat, okay? If they're called Ultramite, the mole rats themselves, and they're kind of glowing. Ultramite, yeah, so these guys will count as uh, mole rats as well. That's why I just wanted to come here just to kind of give you guys a different, uh, you know, different options, you know. Just in case you're very limited to public servers, and there we go. 
There's our last guy there. So there's usually three of them right here. Ah, real good spot. Real good spot. Again, to get the uh, mole rat meat off these guys as well. And usually when you go on top of this hill, if you go on top of this little ridge, there will be at least two more uh, mole rats up here. I'm on a private server, so just an FYI. Get up here, and they should be popping up out of the ground here very soon. All right, there, there they are, right there. Okay, so just FYI. Great spot for some wall rash. Should be able to complete that in no time at all. Okay. Uh, so seeing how we are here in good old Welsh, we get two more uh, dailies that we can finish off on while we're here. Cripple Mole Miner's Head 2 and kill Mole Miner 10. And of course, right there here in Welsh, a great spot. Uh, another good spot for some uh, Mole Miner's hands down. Is right here, good old modern guy. Who I brought you guys there all many times. At least ten or twelve of them will be there. Half of them will be glowing, but we'll continue on here at Welsh. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cripple a mole miner's head. Of course, you could free aim for the mole miner's head if you like, or you can use vats like myself. I like to use a perk card under perception. It's called concentrated fire. This allows you to move your vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. FYI, we have some ballistic weapons here. They do have the explosive effect, but uh, we'll try to get through it. Let's go around here. Go for the head. This guy's head, there we go. Cripple Mole Miner's head two for two. And now, <laughs> while we're being attacked, we're going to kill the rest of these Mole Miners here. Let's get my Tommy gun out, baby. Ain't nobody got time for you guys right now. Oh, hi. Didn't realize you are down here. Say hello to my little friend there, eh? <laughs> hey, someone's got a, uh... I thought this someone was attacking us from here over here. There he is right there. Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> oh, Bobby Pin. Watch the fire, Jim. Watch the fire, old pal. are getting pretty hairy here. Good old Welsh. Guy turned into a meat pile already. Same with his little buddy. We hear someone lurking around. It's heavy breathing. Oh, I was right there. Huh? All right, let's go inside here. Hi. There we go. Kill a Mole Miner 10 for 10. Done. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Easy. Hurt. Ah, oh, there's right there. Perfect. Yeah. I think we're done. Let's check it out. We are. Reason behind my madness with the uh, locations today, so we can get them done as quick as possible. There you guys go. If I could do it, anyone can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.